award season is truly in full swing. Over the weekend, we had not one, not two, but three ceremonies celebrating last year's Best in TV and Film. And three award shows means three red carpets with incredible fashions. And here to give us the top looks from each ceremony, it's fashion correspondent Amanda Garrigan. Hi, guys. Yay. What's happening? Oh, we're talking fashion, and I cannot wait. Well, let's do it. Let's yeah. kick things off with the Producers Guild Awards. Now, uh, who had us absolutely living for their looks? Oh, my gosh. There were so many extraordinary looks. It was so hard to choose, but let's start with America Ferreira. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Wow. This was extraordinary. So she talks about having channeled, found inspiration from Elizabeth Taylor. Ooh. Why don't people do this more? Elizabeth Taylor is an icon. It really was about the hair. There was a bow. There was a hairband. It was a bob. But this dress is extraordinary. It's Patu. I love this brand. <laughs> wow. What did you guys think of the dimensional pieces on it? She I loved killed it. it all weekend. First with the Dior right? and now this. I think this is the best she's ever looked. And I love that her makeup is no makeup because I think she's such a beautiful woman. Okay. I agree. Yeah, I love right? the sleek look mm -hmm. of her bob. Yes. I think all of it came together yes. so nicely. Yeah, I yeah. agree. That bob is so killer on her. It's just work a bob. <laughs> Well, well let's talk about our next look because it isn't just blue. It's not turquoise. It's not lapis. It's actually Emily Blunt in this Easter egg blue dress. Oh, this is a princess moment, yes, right? I see yes. how excited you oh, are, girl. I love yeah. this. And also, again, the hair, the entire look yeah. is all pulled together. Yeah, exactly. So it's never just about the dress. The whole glam team has to come together. The hair is pulled up in a way, but the tendrils framing the face are extraordinary. So when I look at this dress, I just love it because it really is this princess moment. Mm -hmm. It is Oscar de la Renta. It is, it kind of gives this summer eyelet dress thing, but with the sparkles, it's mm. next level for a red carpet. Right. Yeah. Right, the scalloping at the neckline and at the hem. It all just works. Yeah, it's really it all good. just works. Yeah. Let's move on down the road to the Film Independent Spirit Awards. Yeah. Who had some of the best looks? Oh, gosh, again, so many. Lily Gladstone, let's just start with her. I thought she looked extraordinary. So all award season, she's really been shining light on Native American creators. This piece is no different. It's Jamie Okuma. The graphic quality, the color, it's the richness of it. I also just love how she feels embodied in this mm -hmm. look, yeah. right? Yeah. The, the aura of this woman is extraordinary, and that's really what makes a moment. Yes, mm. definitely. Well, now, let's talk about Natalie Portman, who oh. was a vision in oh my red. Gosh, yeah. And I, I feel like she can never do any wrong. Look at her. I know. I mean, come on, guys. It's Natalie Portman. I'm a bit of a fangirl. This is a ball men look. And, Justin, I'm seeing your face. This is why Rihanna this. This is why Rihanna freaked out at Natalie Portman, right? because she is a star. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, she is. So this piece is beautiful. The color, the way that it pops, these floral appliques, they're, you know, it's a bit cheeky the way the florals are placed. So it could have been a really prim look, but it comes out in this high fashion, mm -hmm. extraordinary moment. Mm -hmm. All right, it's so stunning. Let's just talk about, because if we're talking about stunning and taking it away, Jessica Chastain. Oh, she's unstoppable. Yes. The Look at this a woman. I feel like saying them some kind of woman song. Anyway, <laughs> this is an Oscar de la Renta dress. It is stunning. So this, this creation is like a fern that envelops her body. All of the work is done with stitching. So it's hand stitched. There's no beading. There's no appliques. And it has this fringe at the bottom. She's worn fringe in award season before. Like at the Emmys, she wore this incredible Gucci. The movement, the color. I know you guys love it. I can see it's the awe in your mermaid. faces. It's getting mermaid with the hair again. Yeah, and I really exactly. love that, how it complements yeah. her. And it, normally yeah. people stick with just like one look, but the fact that she could pull both things off. Exactly. The fringe at the bottom. For sure. Okay, you no, know, she did it. Yeah, right. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Now we all watch the Screen Actors Guild Awards because they were popping and the red carpet was slaying. I already know who mm -hmm, you're going to mm -hmm. say, but go ahead and say oh it. Oh my gosh, the Screen Actors Guild Awards. There were, I mean, can we start with Margot Robbie? Can yes. we? Can we? Can, can we? we just go to Margot Margot Robbie. This this dress was a mite controversial. Um, she was incredible. It was a Scaparelli look. And some people loved it. Some people didn't love it as much. I thought it was extraordinary. So this dress was made from the 2020 collection. It was done in a sketch. It was never actually conceived. They never actually made it because of the pandemic ruined everything. But so truly custom. Yeah, truly custom yeah. for her. And, and I love the little hardware she had on the ankle. That was a fun little moment there. Yeah. Margot Robbie, the little anklet. anklet, so incredible. Yes. Um, 
I mean, we also can rewind to Jennifer Aniston. Can we talk about this look? Well, Jennifer Aniston, I feel like she is constantly just slaying it on the red carpet. Yes. But I also think that she sticks in her, her lane. Her zone. It's yes. always simple. Mm -hmm. It's always sleek. Mm -hmm. It's always very, like, impi like this, like, very column dress. And I love it yeah. on her. She looks phenomenal. Yeah, she looks phenomenal. This is, and you said everything I was going to say, because this is a very Jennifer Aniston dress moment. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It's Celine. It's stunning. And it's just, like, what we want to see from her. What well, a recap. What a recap. Yes. Amanda, you always kill it for us. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for coming, and we'll see you after the Oscars. Yeah, let's see the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank Thanks you for having so me. Much.